it, it's uh, bittersweet, right? When your students start beating you, it's like, it's bitter because no one likes to lose, especially me. But it's sweet because you've created the, the dragon that slayed you. So that was fun. It's good. What we're doing has value in people's lives. Pressure is what makes people better. In that case, let's have some fun. It's going to be a great year for everybody. Everybody who wants it to be. I think this event is probably um, the best example of what uh, SBG has done for the Valley because this is, we're in Columbia Falls and this is a local tournament with just our members and yet the turnout's going to be as big or bigger than um, most of the tournaments in the state. We're pretty unique in, in the fact that we have set up a nonprofit specifically for the members of our gym um, to help them offset their travel and lodging expenses. Uh, what we don't do is we don't cover uh, their tournament fee. And the reason we don't is we want them to have some skin in the game. Um, you know, it's, it's one thing to give somebody help, it's another thing to give them too much help. And so we still want them to go out there and work and earn and save and be financially invested in the tournament, uh, but we don't want money to be the thing that cripples them or stops them from being able to compete altogether. All these different events that we do that raise money for the nonprofit, we expect the competitors that are receiving funds from the nonprofit to then volunteer time to help raise those funds in the future. This is our best event of the year. So we do this event twice a year. Uh, it's our Gorilla Cup and we do it in uh, May and November, so six months apart. And we generally will, will gross in an event like this uh, upwards of $7,000, which is pretty substantial. Um, so we do this a couple times a year, close to $15,000 gets raised. But realize, you know, last month we brought 42 competitors to Boise, Idaho. So even though that sounds like a lot, in, in, if you put it in perspective, it's really not. So you take an event like, uh, the, the Northwest Submission Challenge in Boise, we had 42 competitors. Each of them gets 100 bucks. Well, boom, there goes $4,200, right? So it goes quick. So we do need your help. And um, you know, that's something we're gonna look to do this year is be a little bit more active um, with our soliciting of donations um, and reminding people that it is a, a tax write-off. Today, I wanna start by thanking you guys for supporting your kids, your friends, your family, whoever you're here, uh, watching today or maybe your uh, child is competing and you've financially invested in them uh, to be able to be here today. We appreciate you guys a ton. We couldn't do without you. Um, and just a reminder to everybody, um, we set up a 501c3 uh, several years ago uh, specifically to help uh, people in the valley who wanted to compete and travel but couldn't afford to. Uh, and the reason we did that is because when my wife and I started, uh, some of the black belts that you'll see compete today were teenagers when I met them. And I remember uh, specifically being on a, a trip with one of them, taking him to a tournament, and he said to me, hey coach, I've never been on an airplane before. And then he proceeded to tell me he had never been out of the state of Montana before. And that's when it dawned on me that, you know, not just the benefits of competing, but just the benefit of the exposure to get out and see other places, meet other people, there was a, a lot of value to that. And so at that point, my wife and I talked to our accountant and asked him what it would take to set up a nonprofit. And it was hard, it, it took a long time actually. I, I know you'll have a hard time believing it, but the government works kind of slow. So it took about six months and a lot of money, but we got it set up. And since then, we've been able to raise a lot of money and give it back to the, the competitors to help pay for their travel and lodging. So everything, that uh, is made today goes back to the competitors through that nonprofit. Whether it's the concessions or the uh, bag tags out there, the entrance fees, the spectator fees, all of that goes back uh, to the members of the gym uh, to help give them those experiences that they might not have otherwise. So thank you guys for that as well. So you're welcome to sit at the edge of the mat quietly, take photographs, and then your guys' job is simply to not make excuses for your child. Half of them are gonna to lose today, okay? Most of them will cry about it. I know it's tempting to give them a hug and say, it's okay, honey, that other kid was just bigger than you, or it's okay, honey, that other kid was a higher belt than you, or it's okay, you know, and fill in the blank. It's tempting and it makes you feel good, it makes them feel good, but it's the wrong thing to do. 
So please don't make any excuses for your child today. If they lose, they lost because the other kid was just better than them today. It's not the end of the world. All I want you to ask them is, did you try your best? And if they tell you, I did my best, I just couldn't beat him, dad, then you say, I'm super proud of you. That's it, okay, no excuses today, lots of hugs, and trust me, there's a bunch of you in, in the stands right now that don't have the courage to do what a lot of these little kids are gonna do, which is come out here and compete in front of a lot of people. And me and all my black belt coaches are gonna do that today too, to be an example to them. So all I want from you guys is just a ton of support, be proud of your kids, be, you know, if it's your husband, your girlfriend, your wife, whoever it is that you're supporting today, you should be very proud of the fact that they, they have the courage to do what they're doing today. The competitors of all the gyms in Montana are super lucky to have the GBC. We give back on average $600 to an average competitor every single year. Some of the kids that we take out of state have never left the state of Montana, never been on an airplane before, and they would never have had the chance to do it without the GPC's funding. I think it's such a fun tournament, and it's such a great fundraiser for the, for the Booster Club that everyone should participate. Help them to learn responsibility, um, how to deal with hardship and loss, and how when things don't always go your way, you don't give up. For the kids, I think it's super important. They're learning to lose in a supportive environment. They're growing a little bit when they do this. They have some really difficult experiences, but they're doing that now when they're children so that they're more resilient and more adaptable adults. Thanks for the match. I enjoyed myself so much today, so thanks for everyone who uh, competed or volunteered today. It takes a tribe to run this tournament, so thank you. This thing is awesome. I myself am an avid competitor and today we brought 52 competitors here. This fundraiser helps us travel out of state to compete and represent what we do. Good match guys. Jackson. Lots of good matches. Nope. You had a lot of time to think about that. Okay, yeah, definitely hold it in for me, okay? We don't need to, we don't need to clean up on mat three.
If you teach jujitsu for a living and your students can't beat you, then you've kind of failed at your job, I think, in my opinion. It felt good to me to you know, get out there in front of students, parents of students, people who pay me good money, who maybe put me on a pedestal sometimes that shouldn't. Um, or if they do, they should put me on a pedestal for reasons other than my ability to submit people. Because um, I think that's the least important thing I do for people. Um, but so it was, it was humbling. Gus was my first black belt from zero experience to black belt level. And so to have him bring students from his own school in Missoula, uh, then go out there, perform well, beat me, you know, it, it's a bittersweet, right? When your students start beating you, it's like, it's bitter because no one likes to lose, especially me. But it's sweet because you've created the, the dragon that slayed you. So that was fun. It's good. Absolutely amazing. The SBG is like is everything. We've gained family. We've gained friends. We've learned about um, hard work, losses. You learn from, and that is no joke. I know that's kind of cliche, but you learn from your losses more, way more than your wins. There's so many competitors that aren't able to travel without these funds, and I'm so grateful that we have it. And I'm just happy to be able to volunteer my time to help students and competitors get to competitions. If you would like to support the Gorilla Booster Club, I would do it, I do it, everybody else is doing it. <laughs> we love the Gorilla Booster Club. It's really amazing and we're having fun. This is an awesome program. We're out here in Columbia Falls, Montana um, for the Gorilla Booster Club and we're raising some money so that people that want to compete can go and compete and do just that. Thank you Gorilla Booster Club! Thanks GBC. Thanks GBC for all that help. The thing that is special about it, well, that I like, is that you get to verse other people and then you learn their skills if you lose from them. And then you can use that to win the next time. If you were here to see this, thanks for being here. If you weren't, you missed out. So ages three to 67 on the mat today. That's ages three to 67 on the mats today putting it on the line it's all fun we grow through pressure coming out here making mistakes that's how we learn i couldn't be more proud to be a part of this organization and what it represents Take hands. hey you nice. did great marion how'd you do <laughs> i survived okay that's what i did with gus so <laughs> i'm just always so thankful for my coaches my students uh just everybody who makes it possible because if it was just Kisa and I we w couldn't do this like it's, it's clearly not a Kisa and Travis show um, it's it's a tribe and uh, I love when we come together like this I love seeing the friendships not just with me and Kisa but I'm just look around the room and I'm watching like all these connections that have been made as a result of training at SBG I could not say enough good things about the GBC I think that I would not be where I am today as a competitor in judo without the Gorilla Booster Club um, I'm able to travel all over the country from Pennsylvania to California and in just three weeks, exactly, I have a countdown, I will be in uh, Las Vegas for Senior Nationals and I think that one of the main reasons I'm able to go so far with my judo career and reach my goals is because of the Gorilla Booster Club. So.